Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph and wants to make a gear similar to this. And it's got uh, kind of rounded bottoms and actually sharp kind of points and just a little bit of an angle. I've already made one. I'm not 100% happy with it. I could maybe make it a little bit narrower, but it would work. It would turn and it would, uh, it's a little bit excessive parts down in here because it's not really necessary, but I'm going to make this one and then maybe I'll follow up and I'll send the gentleman a, I have a gear generator program. But first of all, you see that this is a picture. If we put a yellow box around it and go order group or order back a page, you can see it's a white background. It's kind of hard to work with because it's one, when you try to center a picture like this, and hit P, you can see it's not in the center of the page. So hopefully after we trace, it'll be more in the center. So I'm not gonna do anything to it because I don't really care. I'm just gonna go to trace it, clip art, and it doesn't take but just a second. Now it doesn't trace it real good, but what it does do is get rid of the white background. You can see now the bounding box is more even. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a rectangle tool and take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. It's gonna fill in everything I don't need. Then I can left click, right click, while that's selected, go to object and break the curve apart so I can get rid of this box I built. <clears throat> now let's move this out of the way and hit P and put it in the center of the page. And you can see it trace it pretty good that I'm in the center of the page. If you look, the item is right between my X. Now it's a little bit offset and it's not as this looks a lot wider, so we're going to, you know, basically go with that. But I'm going to, I like drawing straight up and down, so I'm going to rotate this thing to where I get about in the center of that. And I am, now the, the, the trace kind of made it smaller. I'm actually going to make it bigger, kind of follow along with this, um, whoop, with this, uh, I'm even going to use the one that was a picture. And um, well, I'm having trouble picking it. So I'm going to use the one that's a picture for right now. And I'm just going to kind of rotate it where I've kind of got one top dead center. A little bit hard to tell. But then I'm just going to take a rectangle. I still need to rotate it a little bit more. Get it top dead center. I guess we could bring in a line or an indexing line and kind of put it through the center of that. And then that way I can see that I'm not in the center and then just kind of rotate it till that center part of that gear gets into that center part. It's kind of hard working with the picture, but that's good enough. Then I'm going to take my rectangle tool. I'm going to make a rectangle about the size of that slot. I'm going to unlock my ratio here and it's so small. I can just type in one and one inch so it's going to round off that corner almost perfectly. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. I'm going to see what my nudge factor is set at. You have to click off the picture. I've got it set on zero, zero, 001 so that's good. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to nudge it over just a little bit to get it. Well, you know what? I really want it in the center of that line. I don't care about the gears anymore. I'm going to go to object and convert it to a curve. I'm going to get the shape tool and grab it, I'm gonna grab these two nodes and right click and break it apart. That way I can get rid of this top line with a virtual segment delete key. Then I can take this line, and there are several ways you could do it. You could, one, you could add a node there and then just kind of bend that over, take both these and right click and turn them into a curve. And then you could use the handles to kind of curve it. Now he even mentioned that it was kind of sharp at the top, but I think that's a pretty good match. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take that item, kind of move it over to the center. And, to, and this is where it's going to depend on what size you want the thing to be. But before I do it, I'm going to take my smoothing tool, set on something pretty level a little, and I'm going to kind of smooth out that joint. <clears throat> then I'm going to take a two-point line, holding down the contr control button so it makes a perfect line. Wow two-point line, not freehand tool. Oh, I was playing around last night with um, 
multiple lines. I've got it turned off. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, I've got it set on tangent. There we go. So just draw a perfect line. Sorry about that. Now let's grab that line, get it out of the way by hitting delete. Go ahead and get rid of that line just so it won't cause problem and then that problem. And what's cool about this, because I started with a rectangle, I can actually snap it to the exact center of that node. Now what I can do is take my virtual segment delete key and delete this. Take away my line, control D and make a duplicate while holding down the control button, grab that handle right there and do that. Now, once again, I think my gear is going to be kind of funny looking, but I need to join those two lines right there. So I'm going to grab the shape tool and grab that side, hold down the shift key and grab both, select both those nodes, go up to windows, dockers, join curves, and mine set on point one, so it joined that curve. So now that's all one piece. And if you want, you know, that thing to be kind of the same size of your other gear, you just bring it into your picture and get it pretty close. I want it in the center. And you can see I need, I'm going to, well, my nudge factor is still set on pretty little. I want that right in the center. So I'm going to put the X. Now I don't care about my drawing anymore, so I can delete it. So I'm about the same size. I don't have to make a duplicate because I'm going to use the rotation docker. And if we bring that down to the center and then I always double check it. No, it's not. So sometimes I'll go off and come back. Sometimes it's hard to find the center. But then sometimes it is there. Now I'm going to close that Docker. I'm going to open up another Docker, Windows, Dockers, Transform or Transformation, depending on what version you have. Uh, I'm going to rotate it. It's There's 23 uh, inside. I didn't measure the outside. There's maybe 24, but I need 23 of these because I'm building them. And the degree, I did 360 divided by 23. And I had it set on 22 copies because I've already got one. Now, we're probably going to be a little bit off right there, and we are, because I didn't have it exactly right. You know, maybe not enough. So what I'm going to do is take my original, which is right there, and I'm just going to extend that node a little bit and maybe go ahead and send that node a little bit. And then we're going to get a cross section, so I'm going to get rid of all these. And one thing you can do, you can set your nudge factor on like two inches and you can nudge this one up maybe twice and then just select all those and delete them and then nudge this right back down twice. Now we're going to do the exact same thing. Now we probably have some crosshairs, which we do, but that's an okay thing because we're going to take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And once again, I don't like this gear. Uh, but I'm mimicking kind of and then set it to a hairline. And then you can always kind of visualize what it's going to look like. Um, and you can, you know, you could change some things. Uh, you know, this particular gear, um, more like a, he even called it a cog. You know, we take that and go up here. It's going to rotate and it's going to catch, uh, but it's not going to be like a mesh fit. And I might even find that video, but you could almost look at it and see that it is going to work because these pieces are going to go down inside of it, and it is going to it is going to work. It is going to turn, and you know you could actually, uh, well, we could actually rotate that if we really wanted to. I might look at doing another video on that, but that's how I would draw it. A little bit different, but it'll, it'll be cool. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.